everybody! So I am Bible journaling today and today I decided to do Psalms 9 uh, verse 1 and it says, I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of your wonders. And I don't know what version that is from. I can't remember to save my life. Um, but I know that in my NIV version it says a little differently. It says, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. And for me, that is just such a beautiful verse. It, it talks so well to my heart about how we need to praise the Lord and, you know, tell everyone of what he's done for us and how much he means to us. Lord, I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. So here I am just penciling in um, my verse here. I'm just writing it down. Um, I didn't do this on top of my acrylic this time, which is something that I normally do. Um, I think I just kind of wanted to jump into this, and so I got a little ahead of myself, but it turned out okay, I think. Um, I just used a super light translucent background, and you'll see that here. It is a pearl white acrylic, and then I mixed in a little bit of pink, and that is a portrait pink and a tiny touch of a primary red. Mix that all together, and then just start to paint on that background. And with this, I don't, I don't typically um, get too carried away. I, I just kind of go for it. Um, I guess I do get carried away. I don't. Mm, what's the word? <laughs> um, anyway, I just go for it. So, like I said, I am just painting that all over the page. And for that page, because my Bible is just a ordinary Bible, it just has uh, text after text after text pages. There's no journaling to this Bible. I decided that I would just add in pages, and if you guys want to see how I did that, go ahead and leave me a comment, and I'll do that in my next video. Um, so, for this one, it is this pearlescent, super light pink, and I love how it turned out. Um, on the actual Bible page itself, it is so pearlescent, and shiny, and pretty, and on that other page, it's kind of a flat color like a matte and I love it it just it stands out so well and it's very just it looks like something rustic or proper I think is what word comes to mind I don't know why um so <laughs> I am just done with that page that uh, add-in page so now I am going in on my actual text page. And here, I don't like to cover any word here. I don't want to cover those little notes down at the bottom. I don't want to cover a verse or a number or anything. So I am very careful on this and I look like I'm going super fast, but I sped this up. Um, <laughs> I don't like to cover words in this Bible. Typically, I will in other Bibles, but not this one. This is the Bible that I take to, ooh, got it on the wall. Um, this is the Bible I take to church. This is the Bible that I study from. This is the, he goes with me everywhere. This little Bible does. He, uh, <laughs> he's in my purse all the time. So this, this guy gets a lot of love and he's probably a little rough around the edges because of it, but that's okay. So now I am mixing in a little bit of a really dark brown, um, with that same background color. I used my background color for all of the rest of my accent colors. And here I am just going to start on the little vines and twigs and branch things, whatever you want to call them. So here I am just doing those little swirls. Um, <laughs> I don't love how this page came out. I, I love it, don't get me wrong, but I think that if I were to do it again, I would probably plan out where those little twigs and things were going to go. I didn't do that this time, and I knew I should have, but like I said before, I just kind of jumped into it. Um, there was really no planning for this page. It just kind of hit me that this verse needed to be journaled, <laughs> and so I did it. And this isn't the only um, 
page that I've journaled in in my Bible. I this Bible I started this on March 14th and today is March 19th. Getting ready to be the 20th because I am up super late. Um and this guy has so many pages already done and I feel like um <clears throat> I I did quite a few pages in one day even because I was just so excited to actually be doing it in this Bible. Um, like I said, this Bible has been through, been with me through a lot. And so you guys, I'll do a flip through, hopefully here before too long, of my everyday Bible and I'll show you the pages that I've done and all of that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm still yet working on the <laughs> vines and twigs and things and I took a long time on this. I think this actual page took me about an hour and while I was doing this, I was listening to worship music. I was um, <laughs> talking to my husband because he was, you know, um, actually at work and doing all of that. He had just gotten to work and so he wasn't quite on the clock yet. He was just, you know, getting there and getting um, briefed on what had happened that day and all of that stuff. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> so I'm still working on those pages and like I said I like to use the background color to tie in the rest of my colors um, it kind of makes them a little bit more coherent um, it also saves on using another bunch of acrylic so if I can save on acrylic I do I'm a waste not want not kind of girl <laughs> so I am just here using whatever I got. Like I said, that, so those pigments that I was using, the, um, the red, the pink, the brown now, um, later I use a green, and then I use that same red again later as well. Um, <laughs> I use those because I have them. They are actually, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, gouache, I think is how you pronounce it, or gouache. It's, G-O-U-C-H-E or something like that. Something to that effect. I'll actually uh, put a link or something down below if you were curious. But uh, those guys I had gotten for another project uh, probably a year ago. Maybe even two. Well, more like two years ago. And uh, so I just had them lying around, didn't know what to do with them. But then this idea came to me that I could mix them in with my acrylics because that's what they are. Um, it's a kind of a line between a watercolor and acrylic. So you can use them like a watercolor or you can use them like an acrylic. And that just fascinated me, so I wanted to try them, so I got them. Well, now I have them laying in a box somewhere because, you know, whatever. But, um, <laughs> rambling a little bit, I know, I'm sorry. But uh, here I'm just adding these little roses and you can see I'm doing touches of that light pink in with um, those darker reds due to the fact that that's how I do my uh, roses when I do them on nails. Um, so I thought that would be kind of cool to just tie in to this verse as well, or this page as well. Um, <laughs> I couldn't quite get the hang of it at first, if you can't tell. I'm just having problems all over the place. Finally, I got it to work, and I think they turned out super cute. So, um, Anyway, those paints I just had lying around, and so I mixed them in with the acrylic, and it still, it doesn't affect the acrylic at all, it just adds a tint. So I call them pigments now instead of whatever that word is, gouache or something like that. Um, but they do beautifully, I think. So, um, I just go about it however I feel necessary. So now I'm going to add some green, um... And like I said, it's another one of those um, pigments that I was talking about. So I just add that into the pink in my acrylic and it get this very light, pretty green. And it looks like an antique kind of color. And so I kind of thought that was neat because all of the colors now kind of um, coordinate, I guess is the word. I don't know. But they, it seems to have that same undertone, which makes all of your colors really go together well. Um... I've been using acrylic in my Bible journaling for a while now because it, it 
it's such a great medium. Um, I never have a problem with it getting on to where I don't want it or, you know, uh, leaking through the page or um, I think the word is uh, shadowing on the next page. I've never had a problem with anything like that. So that's one thing I love about it. So now I'm just doing these little leaves and I want to tell you about the technique for these leaves in case you don't know. It's just a tiny round brush and what I do on most of them, as you can tell, I'm not on all of them, um, most of them is I use the tip for the little pointy part of the leaf and then that uh, piece of the, the actual part of the um, bristles that's closest to the brush handle, I just go ahead and push down with that and so what that does is it actually creates a leaf shape without me having to paint in a leaf shape. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, ask a question in a comment and maybe I can explain it a little better. Um, but nonetheless, I just love this page. I don't know why I didn't plan it out better, but I, I like how it turned out. I may just go in and add or tweak a few things. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a little excited, as you can tell. Um... What was I going to say? I was going to say something while I was on here. Oh, um, if you do attempt or get inspired by my lovely little page here and you want to try it out yourself, I would love to see it. I would love for you to share that with me and we can um, just glorify God together in that way. So I really would love if you would tag me in it on Facebook or um, Pinterest or Instagram or however you spread your glory and uh, I will leave all of the links to those things in the description box below and you can always contact me here on YouTube with a comment. It's great. So here I'm just adding some leaves to the other side of this page due to the fact that I didn't want them all on that one page. Um, I just wanted them to kind of blend in with the rest of it. I didn't add vines or roses, and I may later, I don't know. But right now I think it's cute with just the uh, leaves. And here I just did my lettering and my faux calligraphy. That's what that is. I did it with a pen, an ink pen, a normal ink pen. And now I'm just underlining that verse. And that's it, guys. I love that this page turned out so well. And if you guys enjoy it too, please leave a like and a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you want to see more, please stay tuned and subscribe and hit that little bell so that you can hear from me right when I come back on. Thanks, guys. God bless.